Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. This is where we talk to God and God also talk back to us. Wake up daily to listen to it, listen to the insightful teachings or the inspiring testimonies as the case may be. Engage the faith prophetic action we will be asked to take for the day. Pray in the spirit. If you can, on your own or in your understanding, speak over your day and prophesy to your atmosphere using the word of God. Anoint yourself also. Welcome also to Monday, July 31, which is not only the first working day of the week, but also the last day in the month. You will end this month strong and you will start the new month well. Open your hand to receive and be responding with Amen, I receive it. I prophesy a 24-hour miracle. I decree anything and everything that contrary to purpose in your life shall come back to life. Whatever has been stolen from you shall be horribly returned back to you. Who is this? Today marks the end of every semblance of shame and ridicule in your life and family. Who is this also? I see an inscription written and pasted on your forehead. It is written, Global Icon. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Global icon on you. That is who you will become. That is what your children will grow to become. There is something just next door in your favor. You will not miss it. According to our practice, so a seed gift of any kind, small, medium, or big, to anyone that God may lay in your heart tomorrow, being the first day of the month, pray over this gift as you give it out for multiple return. God will send helpers to your life, your family, your children, your business concern, your career, your ministry, your program, and your project early in the new month. I pray for all TPGF members in war zones countries, in Ukraine, Sudan, now Niger Republic, and all insecurity plague regions of the world. God will protect you. God will bring peace to your region. Someone is feeling as if something is choking you. God is going to flush that thing out. Someone is on the bed, sick bed, feeling, will I ever survive this? I prophesy, you will live. You will not die. Your appointment with death is hereby cancelled. I say, be healed, be strong, rise up again and start doing what you couldn't do before. Someone is so worried, even afraid over certain issues of your life. I speak as God's oracle. Your fears will not happen. I say your fears will not happen. Within 48 hours, there shall be a turnaround in your favor. In Jesus' name. Listeners, hold or raise your cell phone for a lot upon a lot prayers again today. This week, it shall be a lot upon a lot for you. God will register your name, your face in the mind of good people that will bless you. Your market, your goods, your product, and your services will sell out. Yes. All over, those owing you will be under God's compulsion to come and pay. All TPGF family, from today, money will cease to be your problem. You shall live in surplus supplies in the name of Jesus. All say amen and receive it. July 31 celebrant, your prayers be blessed, be lifted. Welcome to your new age of glory, of happiness, of progress and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, say amen, I receive it. Happy birthday from all of us to all of you. Listeners, we still have the whole of this week. For the insightful teachings, please be connecting to it. First one today. Daddy, I want to ask if Living Spring Church is the same as Dominion City Church. I am confused whenever the two is mentioned. Wow, no. Our own church arm. The local church arm of this commission is called Living Spring Chapel International. In the UK, it is registered as Living Spring Chapel Trust. Dominion City is the headquarter church in Nigeria, and that is at Abiloju bus stop, Ibadan. There is a Dominion City church, pastored by God's servant, Pastor David Obueli. That is not us. That's another church. There is also Dominion University. That is also not us. Turning Point Global Family, 
TPGF, the one that is bringing you this message, is a global movement. It is not a local church. It is international. It is global. It is for everyone. It's a global family under God. Hope it is clearer now. Next. Good morning, Daddy. Thank you for helping us to move closer to God day by day. About wealth creation, you ask us not to borrow money in starting a business. I am into a cooperative society movement where you can collect two times of our savings there. Can I borrow times two of my savings there to start a business since they will be deducting the loan from my salary? God bless TPGF. Wow. Well, since the savings there is yours anyway, then the additional, the, the additional loan they are giving you will be deducted from your salary, not from the new or the young business. Then there is no problem. But loans or its interest must not be taken out of the young business. The business must be protected and be developed to become strong enough to start meeting your needs. Listeners, do not spend from your new business. Keep growing it until it becomes so strong and a big brand. Next, good morning, TPGF members. Can an adopted son marry the biological daughter of the same family that adopted him? Wow, no, not at all. That sounds like a taboo to me. An adopted son is, if it is true adoption, is also a son in the family. They are in the same family name. An adopted child is just like your own child. It's like asking me, can siblings marry themselves? I'm told that may be done in some other culture, but not with us here. So it is not right. Don't encourage it. Disallow it. Next, please, sir. I have two men asking for my hand in marriage. How do I know the right one? Wow, I have spoken about this again and again, how to make a godly choice in marriage. But I'm asking this question because of new members that are joining TPGF every day and those who will need repeated emphasis because before they can get a message. Two men interested in you, number one. Which one will you say met God's standard? In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 to 16, that says, Do not be unequally yoked together with an unbeliever. Which of them is genuinely, truly, and devotedly born again? Passionately born again? Number two, who of them is a true friend? You can only marry your friend. Who of them does not tell you lies? Who have nothing to hide, including the cell phone from you? Who of them is not proud, hot-tempered, get angry easily? Who of them is more forgiving, more generous, show you care and concern? Who of them does not ask you or insist on sex before marriage? Who of them is more visionary, with a clear focus in life, hardworking, pursuing a well-defined goals in life? And finally, who do you have more peace in your heart with each time you think about getting married to them? The one that meets this standard is the one to go with. And then what I just said to her now, I say to all the singles, male and female, listening to me. Next, good morning, daddy. Am I TPGF? How can someone take control of the day, speak over the day, and send one's angels to go on errand? Wow. Just as you hear me say it almost daily now, and I deliberately say it daily, so we can get it and start doing it. Taking control of the day is a spiritual operation. Speaking the word of God over the day in your favor. Lately, I've started adding Google for Bible verses for praying over the day. Google will throw up many Bible verses. It's none of them that will be relevant. Copy out the relevant one and engage them in praying and commanding the power of God to work for you during the day. Then as for ministering angels, read Hebrews 1.14. It clearly stated that angels are ministering spirits sent forth by God to minister to us. They wait to receive orders. So speak and give them orders. They are not visible, but they are real, there, to go on assignment for us. All these things are spiritual operation and phenomenon. Please do them. The spiritual controls the physical. Anoint yourself in that same manner 
prophesying to the day, to your activities, to your assignments, to your journey. Speak the word of God to everything you want to do every day. Never forget. Send them to work and they will work for you. Listeners, we'll continue from here tomorrow. But please send this to all on your contact and do so daily. We are back on Ask a Question broadcast later this evening. Join us online via our, our social media platforms of Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. That's our platform. It's going to be 8 to 9 p.m. as usual, then Mondays and Fridays. The month is ending. If you are a monthly title, battle, thanksgiving, partnership commitment seed, vows, and the 777 seed we've been sowing this month, it's not yet late. You can still do it today. Then sow them. Do them as soon as you earn your pay. Please do. And we have also extended connection to grace of seed 68. We are no longer stopping it because whatever you do that is bringing blessing, you do it more. If you desire to do that, go ahead and do it. No more terminal date. Then our special monthly seed in August will be seed 8888. Eight is God's number for a new beginning. That is special seed into new chapters of our lives. Do it as you believe in it. That is also opening the heaven. We keep doing it. If you want us to send you the commission's account, the PayPal detail for your regular titan, personal and corporate titan, and all the other seed we teach, we preach, and encourage, including connection to grace of seed 68, send a chat message, or please send me the commission's account, to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. Do so today. I prophesy to your life this new week as we get ready to enter the new month. Doors shall open for you. All that I daily prophesy on your life shall become your realities. All you daily pray over your life too shall become your realities. God's glory shall surround you and garnish you. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest. Until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a good day. Have a great week. In Jesus' name.